In the last video, we learned about global filtering with React Table. In this video, let's learn how to filter at a column level. Again, let's take a look at this step by step. First step, similar to the global filter component, we need to create a column filter component. So in the components folder, create a new file called columnfilter.js. This component is similar to global filter. So I'm going to copy the code from global filter and make the necessary modifications. Let's begin by renaming the component from global filter to column filter. Next, instead of filter and set filter as props, the component will automatically receive the column as its props. So we are going to destructure column. Then within the component, from the column, we destructure filter value and set filter. So filter value and set filter from the column prop, which now changes our input value to filter value or empty string. The onChange handler remains the same. Now for our step two, back in filtering table.js, we need to import the use filters hook from React table. So after use global filter, use filters, and we pass it into the use table call before the use global filter hook. Next, in the JSX, we can add the column filter component in every column header. So in the th tag, after rendering the header label, we can add our column filter component. And this will be done conditionally. Div tag, column dot can filter and if it is true column dot render filter if not return null but what exactly is this string filter well if you notice header it is a property in our columns array for each column. Similarly, filter is a property that has to be defined on each column. So import column filter at the top and assign it to the filter property on every column. If you now save all the files and take a look at the browser, you can see that in the header of every column, we now have a filter component. And if you enter filter text on first name, for example, the filtered rows are those rows where only the first name column contains the string Ben. And if you also enter the filtered text for last name, the filtered rows are those that satisfy first name filter and last name filter. It is logical and not logical or. The column filter also works in conjunction with the global filter. So if I refresh and search globally with the string HAR, we are down to five rows. If I now further enter column filtering, James, you can see that the column filtering works on the rows that were globally filtered. So that is how column filtering can be implemented with React Table. Now there are a few more points that I want to cover with respect to filtering. Let's take a look at all of them in the next video.